Hello everybody and welcome back to Quest for Creative. In the last episode we got a pet owl. Now this is not the same owl. Hello. Because when I logged out and logged back in, uh, well logged out that day, logged in the next day, uh, Mr. Owl is gone. So um, yeah, he just kind of disappeared. I parked him right here and sat him down. And then I stood here and logged off. Came back the next day, he was gone. So I don't know what that means exactly. Um, so yeah, we have, a, we have another owl over there. And I'm going to try not sitting him down when I log off for the night and see if he sticks around. Hopefully he does, but I do have a mob problem where my uh, mobs disappear. My cows, my sheep, everything just kind of disappear. I think it might be a combination of the poppet shelves that I keep using as chunk loaders and uh, the server rebooting itself. But as you can see, I did a little bit work on my magical forest here. Um, I added some pumpkins and some melons and the forest is a little bit more dense. Um, I also added a witch cabin that I made out of all of the witchery woods just because I thought it looked cool. Uh, I also figured this out, the R Rowan door. Um, I can't open it without the Rowan door key. And if we look at this thing, we can see that it's actually assigned to a specific uh, block. And it's pretty cool. I, 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 quite, I quite like it. But I just, you know, built the house. Thought it was cool looking. Uh, would have built it on camera, but I don't have that abil the ability to build and talk about something else at the same time, so it would have made kind of crappy video. That's why I do the quest for creative stuff, is because I, well, I can focus on what I'm building and what I'm doing, because I'd have to talk about what I'm doing. Um, but like I said, as you can see, I made this denser. I even put in witchery flowers, uh, let's see, belladonnas, snowbells, water artichokes, uh, over here, I have mandrakes and more belladonnas. Um, I even have the cool fire pit over here, which I still haven't figured out how I'm going to make this kettle look cool. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about it. I don't know how I'm going to make that kettle look like it's hanging off of something. But uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, so after all of this work, after all of this cramming, I have 5,960 mana. And that's it. And to get a familiar, I need 8,000 mana. And I've been flipping through the Circle Magic book, and it appears that you can't use these charged stones here. Oh, it went away. Oh, the Attune Stone Charge, these guys. Um, oh, and for the record, they don't do anything there either. Uh, I put them there just as a little test to see if it would do something. Because I know you can use the Attune Stones for... Uh, magic power for this mana here but I couldn't figure out how uh, and then I read the book and it looks like you can throw the attune stones into the circle to use as or part of a ritual and then it will work uh, but uh, yeah I haven't figured all that out yet but today what we are going to do we are going to summon a demon for shits and giggles really um, because why the hell not, really? Uh, and like I said, I needed to find refined evil. I would had to figure out how to make refined evil, and I figured out how to do that. As you can see, I have refined evil, and what you do, uh, where are you? There you go. Refined evil, just diamond vapor, gas tear in a distillery, and you get odor purity, reek of misfortune, foul fume, and refined evil. Now, I also figured this out today, uh, logged in, went over there, and took a look at the chest, just to see, and oop, I found a whole bunch of gas tiers. I found like three stacks of gas tiers. I have one stack in here, I have one stack in there, and I used the rest of, the rest of them, it was an entire stack, to make a whole bunch of these safari nets, uh, so I could, you know start catching things uh because i caught or i got another village set a pair of villagers had them breeding 
uh, got a bunch of villagers, and now I have a bunch of villagers spare. So in case I need more of them, I can just, you know, spawn more of them. Oh, right, I have vill I left the one ball in there. Uh, this is to turn off the grinder, so I can just clone villagers and grab them through that hatch right there. You know, simple stuff, easy stuff. But apparently that does work for gas, and it also works for owls. Um, I've got a whole bunch of them flying around now. I kind of made a mistake. Um, they could go through the holes that were left there. <laughs> and I ended up with a whole bunch of owls flying around. So you might see them floating around. That's that's why they're there. I only tamed one, though. Uh, that's that guy right there. Mr. Owl Jr., as I'm calling him. I just haven't named him because, you know, if he's going to disappear tomorrow, then what's the point? Um, so we are going to summon a demon today. Uh, and I've been poking around the book, just looking at things. And uh, I figured out what the different color chalk is for. Okay, so if we go back to the beginning of the book, boop, we can see that this is labeled with gray numbers and gray, uh, like uh, uh, a gray circle. And we can flip through these things. And then we can see this one, the right of transposition, which confuses me. It's teleport to the bound waystone's location, and you need a bound waystone. Which I would guess that would fit if you had two circles set up. You have, you know, a waystone bound to this circle, and then you go to the other circle and use the waystone there to come back here. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Um, but anyways, you can see that it's blue uh, or purple or whatever color that is. I'm sorry, I'm colorblind, and that's very small. It's not big enough for me to see the colors. Uh, well... I have the other wear chalk, and that's the blue, purple, whatever it is, Keller chalk. Um, so I would assume that that needs the purple chalk. And if we keep rolling, uh, it goes back to gray. And there's one. There's a red one right there. So I would assume that is boop, this infernal chalk right there. And then I'm going to have to find the right of summoning again. Broiling, fertility. There's a lot of them, and it's crazy. There we go, right of summoning. And the right of summoning is red. Now, I really cannot tell. Is this circle red? Because it doesn't look red to me. Uh, but I also need altar power of 3,000. But I think I can use attuned stones to do that. And I have an attuned stone and an attuned stone charged. So hopefully that works. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to summon the demon here. Because I think that's, uh, that's probably a bad idea. I saw a video of the demon and the demon kind of spits exploding fireballs. Uh, so I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go out a ways. I'm going to leave Mr. Owl Jr. here. Ugh. There we go. Um, and apparently I also figured out that I can, I can terraform with, uh, witchery, which I'm going to fiddle with over here at some other time. But for right now, I want a good spot right here. We'll do right here. We'll do quite nicely. And I'm going to make another circle here. We, that should be far enough. If not, I'm going to have to cut, to cut down some trees. And I'm going to summon the demon here. This should be far enough away. I've got my wicked cleaver. So I should have enough power to do what I need to do. Um, assuming this works, uh, the inner area must be clear. 7x7x4. Seven 7x7x4. By seven by I don't know what that means, actually. So, oh, oh, oh! 7x7x4. Seven by seven by four vertical okay so i can't have any blocks in the seven by seven by four area i understand now all right so i am going to make this circle and it's going to involve a lot of me counting so i'm just going to skip to when i'm done building the circle all right i think i'm ready to do this um whoa I'm gonna do it at night because it just seems appropriate to do it at night even though i am gonna to have to be fighting off mobs um, like zombies are coming out of nowhere to bother me, but you know, oh well.
it does seem appropriate to be doing this at night, though. So pff, I'm going to do this at night. Uh, hopefully this works, but let's find out. <sighs> Go away. I'm summoning somebody far, far worse than you. And then we need a villager. Boop. And... Ooh. This is promising. This is promising. No altar nearby. Damn it! You killed my villager for nothing? Alright, so I do have to build an altar, but uh, I do have altar blocks. Um... But it says it's got to be clear inside. But it also says it's only need to be 7x7x4. Seven by seven by uh, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's plenty of space. So, like, from here to here. So if I put the altar on the inside, will it hurt anything? Like, if I put it there, will that be a problem? I hope not. Boop. Uh, how much... Yeah, not a lot of magic there. But I didn't expect a lot of magic. That's why I have the charged stone. Well, let's head back to the house. Ooh, I should probably mark this on my map. Map. Right-click. Alter. Uh, though I should be able to find it. I'm not exactly far away here. Enter. Group. Eh, group will work. Alright, now I have a marker. Yeah, just in case. Uh, oh, I thought that was a whole bunch of chickens. No, it's just floaty uh, plant stuff. Ah, rendered errors from... It's 1.6.4. Old school render errors. Let's see, the villager is still in there. So if I do this, wait a minute. A villager should pop up. Look, owl. There's a villager. Boop. Oh, there's two villagers. Oh, they're trying to run inside because it's dark out. They don't realize that... Well, actually, they might not be safe. I don't know. No, no, go. I have to shift click. Forgot about that. Oh, uh, by the way, um, I mentioned... Well, I don't know if I mentioned it, but my idea was uh, with the ent twig problem that I have now, my idea was to take Treebeard there and throw him into the spawner, the auto spawner, and then I could just get a whole bunch of uh, ent twigs and not lose Treebeard. Treebeard doesn't go into the safari nets. So either I did it with uh, this entity mover, because he will go into the entity mover, so either I did it with the Entity Mover, or they changed it so that it doesn't work with Safari Nets anymore. Now, I doubt the Witchery people changed that. Uh, the Open Blocks people probably did. Or, no, Mine Factory Reloaded. I don't know, whoever did the, the uh, Safari Nets. I think that was Mine Factory. I may be mistaken about that. Alright, let's try this again. Now I have an altar. Hopefully I don't need all kinds of power because, well, then it's going to take me a little while to do this. But, I mean, that's part of the point of this is basically us learning how to do this. All right, so you go out. Um, blaze powder. What else did I need? Oh, ender pearl. Uh, a tombstone. A tombstone. Villager, right click, and what happens? Insufficient power. Okay, so how the fuck do I use these attuned stones? It's not in the wiki anywhere. It doesn't say it. In fact, there's quite a few things that just aren't in the wiki. Um, let's go get a bunch of those trees, and I'll just make a circle of uh, witchery trees. Kind of like how I did over here, but not as close to the circle. Hopefully that'll be close enough to draw the power. Um, I could also do this. Uh, I could grab the stuff from here. Oop. 
uh, and hopefully uh, it, they won't get destroyed. I did fill the flask. Just took a little bit of work. Um, for the record, the Golden Lanterns don't do doodly squat. I just put them there because they look neat. Um, and basically it's just a placeholder for when uh, I can figure out what the other things that are supposedly going on the altar can be. Because somehow you can get 8,000. Uh, but I haven't figured it out, and that's pretty dense back there. So I wouldn't know how to put 8,000 of anything on there. All right, now how many do you have? 2,280. All right, so now I just need to figure out where I'm going that way. And I, uh, just put a couple of trees down. That should be more than enough. All righty, so now our altar has 3,670 mana to it. And... Uh, <laughs> This is the last try that I'm going to do. If this doesn't work, then I'm totally doing something wrong and I have no idea what's going on. Uh, but, hang on a second. If we have enough power now, all I should have to do is just refine evil blaze powder and pearl and vi vi villager. I don't need the attune stone and attune stone charged. Because nothing... Oh, that's a blaze rod. Versus blaze powder. Oh, well. Okay, then conveniently, that's that's what I have, so that's what I need. I have blaze powder. Alright, so let's do this. So I don't need them. I just need these parts. So, boop, 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 and a boop. Boop. Come on, damn it. Yes! Hi! Are you evil? Oh, ow. Guess what? I get healed by fire. Or is that just lava? <laughs> oh. I didn't realize that would happen. <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> Look, I'm a flying demon. I wonder if I could fly without... Um, that's got a marker of some sort, but I can't see it. Like, you see how in the in the little circle where it's showing the, uh, or the little square where it's showing what morph I could turn into, it has on the left side the different meanings. Like the one selected right now, the top one means I can climb walls. I have no idea what that one means. Oh, that means I'm uh, recognized as a mob by mobs. Um, yeah. Uh, the top one means I don't get injured by fire. Uh, the, that one means I can fly. That one looks like it has something, but I can't see it because of the wing. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Hmm. Whatever. Uh, F5. Turn back into me. And what do I have? I have... Nothing! I got nothing out of that. Did it burn? I got something, but I think it was just the lungs. So I got a demon lung. Well, that was pointless. Hmm. Alrighty then. Uh, well, then the next thing I'm going to do, just for shits and giggles. Uh, boop. Where is it? Right of binding, binding. Wait, binding? Yes, that one. I need a circle talisman. Circle Talisman and Redstone. An altar power of a thousand. Uh, well, conveniently, I have Redstone right there. And I just need a Circle Talisman. Which is not that expensive. So let's wander over and do that. I just want to pick up my Circle Talisman. Or my, uh, uh, that thing. My Circle. I just want to pick it up. And you can use the circle talismans to pick up the circles. Whee! Uh, let's see. I needed... Well, I know I need... Wait, what do I need? Four gold ingots, a diamond, and four gold nuggets. So I need five gold ingots right off the bat. Put you away. Um, bloop. I need four of those and a diamond. 
I do not have diamond just hanging loose. Probably because I used it all. Would not be surprised. I do that all the time. Diamond. Gold ingots. Gold nuggets. Boop. Circle talisman. And redstone. The redstone's actually from my uh, improvised timer there. Where I had it set up so that it would shut off during the day. Uh, so uh, the, the, the enderman didn't pop out of the cage. Because <laughs> they do that in the daytime. They teleport away from the player and the, I was sitting there to fill up the mob essence. Um, so I would turn that off during the day. Make life easy. But uh, I kind of don't need it if I'm not spawning endermen. And I'm not right now. I'm using it for other things. So, uh, redstone, circle talisman. I don't think these things have to be on the golden chalk. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so I got the large inferno, infernal. Uh, we can see that the chalk circle has disappeared, and then I can grab all my stuff and move it elsewhere. Oh, I was going to say, did I lose my sword? I will be pissed. <sighs> I did not. We. Hmm. Can I put a second altar down? And, like, double how much power I have in the area? Hmm. Oh, no, shift. Uh, Wither Skull... Candelabra and chalice. And then we're back up to the 5960. Oh. And if I do. Let's see, where's a good place for this? Where's a good place for this? I'm going to have to tear out something, aren't I? Like you. Oh, hi. <laughs> so if I put this here, this is center, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, yes. Ugh, come on, go away. Boop, boop, boop. All right, now this one doesn't have a lot right now. It's got 1105, but does that combine with the 5940 for, that I can use in this circle? Hmm, I got an idea. I need... Find a tamed owl. I need 8,000 total. Boop. So if I get a bunch more of this stuff, like the, the skull and the candelabra, that kind of stuff, um, can I do this? Because I'll have the magic around. I don't know if there's another way to do this. I can't find any information. But uh, I may have figured out how to cheat it, at least. I forget where I keep my heads. That was a creeper jockey. <sighs> yes, that happens every once in a while. I see that every now and then. There are creeper jockeys that show up and try to annoy the hell out of you. Boop. I need to clean out my inventory. Hang on a second. Why am I not flying? Oh, I was flying. Interesting. I like all the owls just floating around this area now. Like they're just a regular mob. I hope they stick around. I doubt they will, but I hope they stick around because that's actually kind of cool. I like that. All right, let's put the skull in place. Boop. How much did that get? Wow. That was a hell of a jump right there. <laughs> uh, but that gets me what I needed. Uh way too much crap in my inventory. This is why I normally sleep. It's not because I'm actually worried about the mobs. They can't hurt me. It's because I just don't like cleaning out my inventory all the time. Um, let's see. That circle magic. What do I need? Tear of the goddess. Okay. Odor of purity. Whiff of magic. Diamond and demonic blood. Crap. It's the demonic blood I needed. That's why I, that's one of the th that's why I was killing the demon. Um where is the demonic blood? I don't actually know. Is that one of these guys? No. D. 
D, no, D, demonic blood. Oh, it is one of those guys. Yeah, I need a demon heart, which I thought I would have got from the demon, but apparently I have to keep fighting demons and get more of them. Crap. <sighs> well, conveniently, I have the circle talisman, so I can put the circle back. Um, I just got to get more villagers. Um... I gotta get that essence of evil or whatever it was, which is not actually hard that that hard to make. So we can try doing that. I just really want a familiar owl. Um, I don't know what exactly I have to do to get it fully. Um, I'm working on it, and I don't even know if it'll stick around. Like, I mean, I have that problem with the pets disappearing. So what makes the familiar any different? Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need? I need crap that's in here. Oop, where's my key? There's my key. Bloop. Um, oh, yeah, right there. So I need that. What else do I need? Uh, hang on, I gotta look it up again. I keep forgetting this stuff. You would think I remember this stuff, but nope, that's the wrong book. Alright, I'm back at my area. Uh, we don't have that much magic, so let's put some stuff down. Is that enough? No. Boop. That is not enough. Boop. That is enough. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's try putting back this circle, because I have no idea how to do that. Uh, so let's put down the golden chalk, because the golden disappeared too. So I do one, two, three... I would assume that this would be the case. I would just take the circle talisman, throw it back in the circle, hit that. Unknown right. Okay, maybe not. Boop. Oh, apparently I just shift right click on the gold thing and it puts it back. Okay, well, simple enough. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so seven by seven by four should be clear. Um... All right, so refined evil, blaze powder, ender pearl, villager, summon, and I'm just going to kill this thing straight out. I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to kill him straight out. I'm not going to let him blow things up. Demon heart. I got uh, magma cream, but no demon heart. Huh, okay, so that is not, apparently not the way to go. Um, apparently you don't get demon hearts that way. Um, I have seen pictures with the, the you, you can trade with the demon, but I have no idea how to do that. Um, I've seen no details about that at all. For the demon, the inner area must be clear. Maybe it's this one that I have to do instead of this one. There's not a lot of detail involved in all of this. But well, let's try it. Let's try the blaze rod one and we'll see if that works. Um, I guess I'll just go gather the stuff and I'll be right back. All right. One last time. We have the attune stone charged, the regular attune stone, the blaze rod an Ender Pearl, a Refined Evil, Elvis, and let's see what happens. All right, I don't want to hurt you. Ow! I didn't want you to hurt me either. Um, he didn't take the villager. Well, I want the villager. All right, you are going to die because you're pissing me off. Huh, he works like an iron golem. I noticed that. He didn't drop diddly squat that time. Bastard. Uh, whoa, my tree's on fire. Well, there goes some of my magic power. Did, I, did it get put out? No. 
All right, that's better. Um, oh, I broke my altar too. Did I drop altar blocks anywhere? I dropped one of them. I didn't drop the other one. All right, well, that actually kind of sucks that this doesn't work. Um, well, it might work. I just don't know how to make it work. How do I make a deal with a demon? I don't know. Unless it's somewhere else in the book that I haven't seen. I can't believe you can summon a wither. That is crazy. It's not that expensive either. Huh. Summon a witch. Summons a familiar to find things. That's neat. Summon your familiar that has been dismissed or killed. There we go. That's, that's what I can use. For when my fami when not if but probably when my familiar dies because of the game unloading it or whatever, um, yeah. So now I'm mildly disappointed that I can't get that to work, but I'm going to keep trying to figure it out. No idea how do I can convince this thing to make a deal with me. Um, but I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I'm gonna try and see what i can see and i will let you guys know but i will see you guys in the next episode and as always keep playing the game and have fun It occurs to me to try one more thing, and that is with this Arthena sword. Uh, now, I was reading on the wiki uh, how, you know, if you don't have the right mobs, you can't get skeleton heads, uh, right, mods, M-O-D-S, not mobs, M-O-B-S. Um, yeah, you can't get skeleton heads. So if you use this sword, you can get skeleton heads and apparently witch heads, which is another thought it might be that i could put a witch head on here and it will actually do more hmm i will have to try that i don't have any witch heads uh, anyways um so my thought is maybe 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 i have to kill the demon with this arthena and then i can get the demon heart so let us try that we have three thousand in the altar uh refined evil Ender Pearl, Blaze Powder, and I've got a villager in here, so I'm going to start that up real quick. Put him down. And let's try killing this bastard with the Arthena. I'm immortal for the. or, uh, well, practically immortal. Crap. Uh, nope, more magma creams. Heh. <laughs> anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Okay, that was a dud idea. It was a good idea, but it was a it 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 didn't work. So, all right, never mind. That's not it.